Hello. What? Right. How about now? That looks good. Okay. Oh, good. You're here. What is this? What are you guys doing? Ah, well, Ryan was working all night and he texted me. You texted Castle and not me? Well, when you have a crazy theory, you don't call the voice of reason. What? What theory? Eric Chambers is not our shooter. We got the wrong guy. You're telling me Eric Chambers is not our shooter? Based on what? Physics, sir. Congressman Lopez said that when he talked to Carolyn Decker, he saw Chambers by the far wall. Which is where CSU found his prints. Seconds later, our assassin opens fire. Three shots. The first one strikes Lopez beneath the left clavicle. The second one grazes Carolyn Decker's shoulder, and then the third one strikes her in the upper back. That shot severs her pulmonary artery. She never has a chance. How does any of this lead you to think that Chambers is not the assassin? A Chambers vantage point. He had a side angle view of Lopez and Carolyn Decker. So how did Chambers manage to shoot Carolyn in the back? The answer is that he couldn't have. Not unless that bullet magically took a hard right turn in midair. Which means the shots were fired from the grassy knoll, metaphorically speaking. Detective Beckett, do you actually find any of this plausible? Yes, sir. Plausible enough that I'm getting ballistics to reevaluate the crime scene. Chambers had motive. He stole a press pass. He fled the shooting. How do you explain all that? I think Chambers was set up to be the fall guy. Probably by Carl Shelton. Then why isn't he vigorously protesting his innocence? Chambers distrusts authority. And he believes that we're part of a plot against him. Nonetheless, Eric Chambers remains our prime suspect unless proof comes in that he is 